Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all doing very, very well. Welcome to the Football Terrace. I'm back with another video. I want to talk a bit about Leo Jardim. Of course, just mutually agreed to leave his post after four, four and a bit years at Monaco. And what a four and a bit years that man and his team produce. Of course, for the Monaco fans and the French and the French sort of footballing fraternity, but but also a couple of years ago, that young, energetic team that he produced that you know destroyed Pep Guardiola's Manchester City, that you know kind of ran out of steam at the end in, in, in the semi-finals of the Champions League, but also brushed aside all that money, all that money at Paris Saint-Germain. It was a tremendous, tremendous performance over the years from them, and of course their. <laughs> The, the, the roster and the squad was absolutely torn to shreds um, by the majority of Europe. Uh, a lot of English clubs, of course, took a number of those players away. And, and they are now struggling. And I think Jardine has taken this as the perfect opportunity to say, do you know what? Maybe I've taken this team as far as I possibly can. You know, it, there's no way he'd have wanted to have sold all those players. Although, although he's, you know, he, he'd been very fortunate to be the man to, to start the careers of so many up-and-coming players, the likes of Mendy, of course, Kylian Mbappe is the standout player, Fabinho that's now joined Liverpool amongst many others, and also the man that was able to resurrect the career of Radamel Falcao, unable to do it at Man United, unable to do it at Chelsea, uh, but Jardine managed to get him back, maybe not to his very best, but of course back to sort of a high scoring level and a high, you know, high contributions in European and domestic French football. Um, do me a massive favour before we continue and smash that like button for me as ever. But I want to talk to you a little bit about the potential of Jardim becoming the next Manchester United manager. And there are many playing it down. And, and what really stood out to me yesterday was this, this tweet somebody sent me who said, I, he said to me, Terry, I can't believe people want Jardim as the Man United manager. He's just been sacked by Monaco. One, he wasn't sacked, it was a mutual agreement, but let's not let that, um, that fact get in the way of your, your opinions <laughs> for a minute. I got another tweet that came through and said something like, Man United don't want to spend loads of money anymore. It's about developing players. Jardin, you know, the club had to sell its players and he couldn't manage and, and get the best out of the crop that he's got. Why would you want him at Man United? And I also just think that shows the, the short-sighted mentality of football fans this day and age and their lack of understanding about what exactly happens at football clubs. So I did a bit of research this afternoon and I looked at some of the most well-structured clubs in Europe. I looked at Bayern Munich, I looked at Barcelona and I looked at Juventus. Three teams that dominate their domestic leagues that over the last 10 to 20 years have dominated the European scene. Juventus had their little their dip but the other two, you know, consistently those teams have been dining at the top table. I also then looked at the, and what I did is, I looked at the average amount of time a manager stays at a club for over three years. And do you know that at Juventus, at Barcelona and at Bayern Munich, since the early 90s, only two to three times per club has any manager lasted more than three years. A couple lasted four, I think one or two across all three clubs lasted five. In the Premier League, the average manager lasts less than three years now. So the man lasts four and a bit years at Monaco. And he was at a club where, when he created that really good side a couple of years ago, he's had that pulled from under, the rug pulled from under his feet. And I can't see that happening to him at a bigger club. And the reason why I think, so these people instantly that are thinking, you know, he struggled once he had his players taken away. You know, he's not a long-term option. What is long-term in football? Forget Fergie, forget Arsene Wenger, they are anomalies at 20 plus years. If a manager lasts five years or more, that in itself is, is, a, is a madness. Like literally now, well actually not even now, over the last 20 to 25 years, okay, three to four years is long to remain at a club. It sincerely is. So people have got to get this nonsense out of their heads and educate themselves on how long managers actually last at high level football clubs. And the reason why I think Jardine would be the right choice for Man United going forward is purely based on what I want this club to do. So it's literally a personal choice and a personal preference about what I want to see. And simply, what's important 
is this football club creating a, a brand of football we're proud of? And look, I've got nothing but respect for Jose Mourinho and what he's achieved in his career. Everybody knows that. But I want Man United to become recognised again as one of the best footballing sides in world football. Jardim has the ability to do that at our football club. To take the squad that we've got, of course, with sprinklings of new players that he would want to bring in and start that revolution. It gives Man United the chance to create a process and a platform, foundation, where Jardim may last three to four years. He may achieve greatness in that time. But at the end of the three to four year period, we move on to another manager of similar ilk that can continue to play a progressive, attacking, beautiful style of football that can man-manage the players, that can coach and develop them. That, for me, is the Man United model I want us to face. And when you think about all the managers out there, Jardine is the best fit for me because not only has he, done, has he created great-looking football, he's progressed far with an underrated team in the Champions League and he's won titles. He has beaten the might of Paris Saint-Germain to league titles. So it's not as though he hasn't won anything. He is well versed in what to do. So for me, if I'm going to pick a guy now to come in and people have been asking me for a month or two, who would like to be the next Man United manager? The man I would pick over Zidane, over Conte, over anybody is Leonardo Jardin. I think he, I just think he's everything that Manchester United need. Great with young players, plays attractive football, and he can stand the test of time. He can last for a medium-term period at a football club. Not a super long period like we've seen with Sir Alex Ferguson. That's very unlikely to happen. But I think at a club, I guarantee you this, if Monaco weren't a club that was selling its players, if they were more like Man United, where they hold on to their stars, I think he'd still be Monaco manager now. I think Monaco would have won more trophies. I think Monaco may have even gone on to have won the Champions League. But the fact that after that one great season, he was legitimately forced legitimately forced to sell the likes of Kylian Mbappe, Mendy as an example. I mean, Bakayoko didn't do particularly well in the Premier League, but he was still forced to sell him. And, you know, to judge him leaving now after having that amazing squad torn to shreds, it's crazy. That won't happen at Manchester United. If he's able to develop a squad over a a 18-month period, get them playing the same football we saw at Monaco, Jesus Christ! Do you know how amazing, do you know how amazing that team could be? And for me, if we're going to undermine Jose and we're going to get rid of Jose Mourinho, then for me, I don't want another manager like him. And and that isn't no disrespect to him. I want us to think long term. I want us to think about the heritage of the club. I want us to think about the style of football. That is more important to me than anything else that we are doing. And that's why I'd like to see him as manager. Let's see a few of your comments, see what they're saying here. Woo, that's the noisy train. He says, I think, here, Master 3D says, I think Jardine is perfect for United, has the structure to move United uh, the way that we want to be. You should sign Pep when you had the chance. Well, United didn't have the chance to sign Pep. They tried to, but they weren't in a position to each time. Jardine can do great, sure, but I do not trust the board unless we get in a structure. No manager will last. No, I totally agree. So everything I'm saying about Jardine being the right man, it's all... Um, depending upon the board, uh, creating a direction and sticking to it. And you know, if Jardine isn't working, if you have a footballing director, if you have a style of football, if you have a philosophy and a structure, it means you can take him out after two years, three years, five years, seven years, ten years, and bring in somebody else and they slot in. And yes, their training methods may be slightly different, but we're not going to move away from, you know, you look at what Barcelona have created and it's a similar style of football each time. And I think that what United have done in their last three managers, Moyes, LVG and then of course what's going on now it's it's three different managers with three different styles of play and you're not you're not creating continuity there and I think that's what the the important bit that United have to go out there and create sorry I'm just buying a train ticket so do excuse me (laughs) but this is the Jardine is a boss a talent development boss yes he is out of 10 how likely do you think United are to sign him well it really depends on what's going on at the club look if if He's mutually agreed to leave Monaco now. Now, yes, they're struggling as a football club. I still think he could have turned that round. But there's also a part of a manager that thinks, you know what, I've worked so hard to create this, these great, this great team. And you've literally just stole, you've just sold them from underneath me twice, uh, twice now. 
uh, two summers running. I think managers can lose their, their will to stay, especially when they've created what they have done. How likely are United to get him? If United do get rid of Jose Mourinho anytime soon, I think there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a 50% chance during this season, a big chance, an 80-90% chance of Man United getting him in the summer. But I'll be disappointed if we end up getting rid of Jose Mourinho and we're scrambling around not knowing who to replace him with. And then we see the likes of Jardim walk into another European juggernaut of a football club because it'll just be another time that we have missed out the opportunity to bring in a very talented manager that's going to play the style of football that we want. Gaming guy says, I feel sorry for Jardin. They lost all his best players, the most recent being Lamar and Fabino. Exactly. You know, and people are talking like it's his fault they are where they are in the, in sort of the French leagues. But it's not as if they lost that, that, that catalogue of players and they went out and spent all that money and replaced them. They simply didn't. So I, I don't hold them accountable. Monaco are where about they should be for the quality of personnel they've got, although they still play decent football. You know? I wouldn't sack Jose, but we should decide. But should he decide to leave us Jardine in? Yeah, look, I'm, I'm, look, I'm not... Everyone knows my stance on Jose Mourinho. I think the situation is dead because of the way the board are, are treating him, treating the players, that they've, they've destroyed the situation at the club. But equally, we now have the opportunity to bring in a really good, young, hungry, talented manager. And I think we'd be absolutely crazy, absolutely crazy not to do it. But listen, give me your viewpoints and opinions on this. He's the guy I would now bring in to, 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 to shake things up at Manchester United. Do me a massive honour. Smash that like button for me. Take care of yourselves. God bless. And I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye-bye.